to show you what I use as a palette. And, um, you know, some people use glass palettes for painting with oils, but they're usually heavy and kind of dangerous because they can break. Um, and then a lot of people use those store-bought pa palettes that are just paper that you tear off. Um, those are expensive. So um, this is my solution. Um, what's important is the Reynolds plastic coated freezer paper. And this is the 75 square feet. And it says it's uh, 18 inches wide. So what I did was I got a piece of, I guess it says half inch plywood. It doesn't have to be half inch plywood, but you want it to be not like a bendy thing, you know. So you probably use masonite or something. I think there's stuff at the yard store that you could buy. But this is um, 16 inches by 22 and a half. So 16 inches is pretty safe to go across um, because this is 18 inches. So then. I take some out that's bigger than the board. You want it to be bigger than the board because if some of it, if some of the board isn't covered, the oil paint will find its way underneath there and it'll just be a mess. So um, the plastic coated freezer paper is, you can find it um, at most grocery stores. It might be at Target. It's also online, Target, Walmart, wherever, those kind of places. So then I take my handy dandy masking tape and I just fold it over the edges. And I just really like to tape it down so there aren't any areas sticking out anywhere. So it's sort of like a present. Because, you know, any area that's not folded over, it's just going to get oil paint under it. Another benefit of this, I mean, I think this is under under $4, but maybe under $3. It has, it has a lot in it. And um, when you're done painting, or when your palette is all dry and not good anymore, you just take this off and you just throw it away. You don't have to clean it, you don't have to scrape it with a razor blade, all that kind of stuff, so. All right, there you go.